Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to infinityfree.net, click on sign up now, enter your email address, create a password for yourself, and then confirm that password. Click on the terms of service agreement and that you're not a robot. Click on that box and create account. Okay, they have sent you an email and you need to go into your college email and confirm your email address. Okay, click on My Nova, My Nova login, your username and password, sign in, click on the Gmail tile. Okay, open up the email that they sent you and you're gonna click on Verify Email Address. It's going to log you into Infinity Free. Next, you're going to create an account. You're going to go down to the subdomain area and you're going to put a name in there. Type in your first initial and last name and a number if you need it. Um, I need to know what your first and last name is to identify that you are in this class. Then hit Search Domain. Okay, next what you're going to do is come down where it says account label and you're going to see your website address. You can have an account username or it's going to automatically generate one for you. Same with the password, it could generate one for you. And click I am not a robot and create an account. Okay, it's going to open up another window. It's going to show you your username. You've got two options here click on open control panel the green button and you need to approve or disapprove for them sending you some emails i went ahead and proved that and when i did that it launched the control panel okay again you're in the control panel and what i think that you should do before you kind of look at all the options that you have here a lot of them you won't need is I do recommend that you go back to your college email. I already have mine open, it's back here, and notice they sent you two emails. The first one was the one where you verified your email address, and the second one that they sent you was notifying you that your account has been created. I'm gonna click on that, and this holds all the information, well, it, most of the information that you're gonna need. Your username, Notice that your password can be found in the client area, and I'll show you where to get to the client area. You've got your web address, which you're going to need to keep, and your domain name as well. Okay, I do recommend that you save this information, maybe print it out. Um, all right, going back to infinity free to get to the client area you go at the top here and click on client area okay it's going to show you your username again I chose just to do the default username and I get my web address again here I'm going to click on this link right here and it's going to show me more information that I need to know. This is a lot of really good information. What you see here is what we're going to be using in Dreamweaver. You can click here to show and hide the password with, which they gave you. I'm not going to go ahead and do that but certainly do that because you're going to need this information in Dreamweaver. Okay.